crack it. In today's video, we are going to discuss the most frequently asked interview question related to last interview questions topic, which is nothing but when to use HTTP post to retrieve data instead of get. So we know we need to use get to retrieve data, but in there are few situations where we are forced or we need to use HTTP post to retrieve the data. So we are going to uh, understand this situations, these situations well in this video. This is a most frequently asked interview question these days and uh, feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe for a deeper understanding of the trending interview questions in the aspects of Java, RESTful, Spring Boot, Microservices, Docker and Spring Securities. So feel free to drop your preferred topics in the comment section and we'll ensure to cover them in our discussions. Your inputs are valuable and we are eager to address the top topics that interest you the most. When to use HTTP post to retrieve data instead of get. So when do we use HTTP post? So usually we use HTTP post when there is uh, something I need to submit data to the server. If I need to create something, if I need to submit that data to the server, for those situations we will use post. If I need to create, if suppose I have, I, I'm creating endpoints for the products. If I need to create product, then I'll go straight away use the HTTP post to create my products. So if there is something that I need to submit data to the server, then I'll use this post. This post I'll not use generally to retrieve data, but uh, so what we will use to retrieve data? We, we know that the get method is a standard choice to retrieve the data from the server. So if, the, if I need to select anything from the database, if I need to fetch information from the database, then the standard choice is get. But there are few situations where I need to use post for the data retrieval as well. So this has become a very common interview question, but a tricky interview question these days. So let's let's try to understand those scenarios where we need to use post to retrieve the data. The first situation is large number of parameters. So when there is a, suppose let's assume when there is a large number of parameters that I need to send as a part of the request. So where will I send? Obviously I'll append it to my URL. Since if I, if I'm going to use the get request to retrieve data, but there are large number of parameters that I need to pass, then where will I pass? Obviously in my URL. So how will my URL look? So if you see here, how is my URL looking? It's like I am passing a lots of parameters. So I am passing department, designation, type, page size, page, gender, is emergency contact updated, is supervisor, is email updated. So these many informations, these many parameters I need to pass as a part of the URL. Then the URL will not look uh, good or it looks clumsy. So it is also, it is complex for the client who is calling to generate this URL, to create this URL. It will be difficult for them. So what do we need to do if suppose, let's assume we changed it to a post request. So how will it look like? So curl hyphen hyphen location hyphen request post. And if I pass that in my request body, then it is like very easy. So my um, how will my uh, curl command look? My curl command will look very easy, simple. So how is it looking? It's, it's looking like this. So if there are a large number of parameters, then it's always perfect to use request body. Why? One, the URL looks clumsy. Second is it's difficult for the uh, client who is uh, creating this URL or who is calling this URL to uh, with these number of parameters. So instead of calling all these values as a parameters, they can send it as a request body. If they send it as a request body, it's easy for them to create an object appended to the request body and can send it. So if we need to send it as a request body, then we need to use the post method. So what is the first situation in which we need to use post method? To retrieve the data, where, which is nothing but when there is a number of parameters, large number of parameters or when there is a, then we need to obviously use post to retrieve data why we can use the request body to send all the parameters which i which i need to send second situation is nothing but the security concerns if suppose i have some sensitive information or the confidential information is it okay to send it as a part of the request so if you look closely this curl command i need to send my account id as a part of the request 
so if i need to use post then how will it look like it will looks like this so in the url they can straight away see the account id because my parameter is part of my url so even though my account id is encrypted it is not a good practice to send the sensitive information as a part of the urls so what do i need to do then it is always good to use post what will this post do this post will be an additional layer of security how they will not they cannot see the uh, my account id straight away when they see the url they will uh, if they use post they will see just till this point which is nothing but till slash accounts they won't be able to see the account id it will go as a part of the request body so it will it will be an additional layer of security as the data is sent in the request body rather than the url also there is a high chance that the things that is part of the url can be logged in various places but uh, when compared to the request body so when compared to request body there is a high chance that this this when it is a part of the url it may get logged up. so it it is always best to use post when we have sensitive information when we need to send sensitive information as a part of the request so second is security concerns let's now see the third one third one is nothing but the cash cash busting so which is nothing but if we are using uh, get http get there is a high chance that our request gets cached it's because of the high performance that we need so there is a high chance that our request get cached if we use the get request so if i don't want to use caching if i need to prevent caching of my request then it's it's very good that i can use post request so if there is need to prevent caching of the request or if i want to ensure that my request is not at all cached or bookmarked then post request are less likely to be cached by the browsers so these are the three reasons the first reason is when there is a large number of parameters or when there is a complex parameters that i need to send then it is always best that i i need to use post it is because one is easy for the clients to access the url second is we can we can send those huge number of parameters as a part of the request body second reason is security concerns if i have some sensitive information then it's always good to use it as a request body than in the part of the url third is cache busting if i don't want my request to be cached then post is the a uh, solution because it's always less likely to be cached so these are the three reasons in which we need to use http post to retrieve the data instead of get and one more thing we need to remember is that so we need to remember that these are the exceptional scenarios but in the standard restful practices get is the preferred method for the data retrieval why because of its simplicity and idempotent nature if uh, if suppose we are we are getting this uh, we need to use post for retrieval frequently then it's worth revisiting the design to ensure it aligns with the best practices so if we are using standard restful practices it's always get as the preferred method we accept there are few exceptions wherein we need to use post to retrieve data but if there is a situation if if suppose i have 10 api to retrieve data i am using 9 apis uh 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 in the nine of my apis i am using http post to retrieve the data the, that that means this if we need to use post for retrieval frequently then it's better to revisit our design to uh, suit with the restful practices please like the video if you like the content your likes shares and comments will be really useful for the people who are preparing for the interviews your likes only will be help to Uh, reach this video to a larger number of audience so if you find this content useful please like share comment and subscribe so thanks for watching crack it please like share comment and subscribe for the updates stay tuned